It's Dominique, and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, French toast. So what I've already done is I've melted a bit of margarine into my frying pan, and I'm just spreading it out evenly. I've cracked three large eggs. Um, I'm only feeding two adults, about a couple slices each, and a toddler, maybe about one and a half slices for him. So you can beat the eggs with a fork or a whisk. So nice and yellow. Now what I like to do, so they're not plain and boring, I add a little bit of vanilla extract. You can use the artificial stuff if you want. Just a couple seconds in there. Give enough splash. And as well, I like adding some nutmeg and cinnamon. So just bear with me in my material and jab. So, a couple shakes of nutmeg. There we go. And my cinnamon as well. I just had it. It is. You could add some a bit of brown sugar or add the brown sugar afterwards. So that Whoops, way too much cinnamon. That's okay. You like it with a lot of cinnamon. Note to self, don't shake the bag. <laughs> That's okay. Now, if you come across doing something silly like I just did, um, add another egg. If you guys don't like that much cinnamon, just Use your fork or a whisk to really beat it and mix it well. Okay, now take a slice of bread and you're going to coat both sides. I'm just going to remove my fork for now, I don't need it. And just press it in lightly. The other side, and you want to make sure the bowl is as close as possible because there may be some dripping. Coat both sides. Let it drip a bit. <coughs> now while that's cooking, you can do another slice. So I can only fit two slices in here. Just make sure it's well coated. You don't see any dry spots in the bread. And you'll know when it's done on one side because it will be easy to slip off using a spatula or a pancake flipper. If you want, you can pre soak another one while you're waiting for the other two to cook. I'm just going to turn up the heat a bit. I have it on medium, medium to high. It'll have a nice golden brown look to it. You can see there it's still kind of sticking, so we'll just hold it off for a couple more seconds. You can press it down if you want to help speed up the process. You can serve it with butter, maple syrup, brown sugar. What I plan on doing for my little one is cutting them in strips, letting him feed himself, and obviously not giving him too much sugar, so he'll like these just as they are. Once both sides are cooked, 
serve them right away while they're still hot. And that's how you make French toast. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.